Matt Kubica here, the Treasure Con shooting team. I want to share with you a quick tip about using side irons in competition. Um, as you can see, my iron sights are off the plane of my scope. The reason for that is that uh, I can set the variable to where I want. Obviously, we want one power for close range, but many times it's more valuable just to leave it on three or four or five for long range targets and then transition to short range targets using the side irons. Now, many people say that you can just aim over the top of the scope and point at close range targets. And that's true unless the targets are about 15 to 25 yards or further and partially obscured. And that's why I like to retain the use of these side iron sights. Now, the thing with the side iron sights is that they're not free. You can't just put them on and expect to gain time. They do take training and they do take some uh, skill set to use. And if you just put them on and use them, they probably will be slower than adjusting your scope up and down. However, once you get used to them, you can definitely pick up some speed. So I want to show you a dry fire drill that I use in order to uh, make these more viable in competition. So this side iron dry fire drill is pretty simple. I have a mock 50 yard plate rack on that brown paper and I have three papers here. I fire two shots of the plate rack, then I hit these three papers, two shots of the plate rack, hit these three papers, two shots of the plate rack, hit these three papers. And I do that while transitioning between the scope and the side. So that will keep me sharp in my side iron usage and get me used to transitioning back and forth rapidly. And uh, I don't really focus on getting my time down on these kind of drills. I focus on getting the accuracy up. So I wanna make sure I'm calling good shots and uh, transitioning sharply between the targets. 